Hey folks, Michael Collins here in ViralReporter.com. It's August 6, 2014. You're looking at a beta map of Birmingham, Alabama, and it's reading nothing. Even though you've got uh, last four months here and you've got a beta gross count rate going up from zero to a thousand, uh, there's just nothing here. As of this date, there were about 44 out of 123 possible US EPA RADNET beta monitors functioning. And uh, uh, this one isn't functioning right. But the one in Montgomery, Alabama is. And what you see here is Montgomery, Alabama hit its highest reading since May 26 with a robust three about 250 counts per minute August 4th. Now what does that mean? Well this is normally background down here. It's yeah, around in the 20s when it's normal but it starts getting busy so when it gets up to about 250 right here that is 250 divided by 20 which is oh boy that's that's a dozen times background now as I've said before three times background is a cause for major concern the California Highway Patrol and Nuclear Regulatory Commission documents they have a threshold of three times background for determining whether they should have a hazmat procedure uh, in making uh, sure that the their personnel are protected against any radiological contamination over three times background. It's a hazmat trip level and look at what we have here. Here in Anchorage, Alaska, its beta graph is still under 20 counts per minute all week which is terrific except that it seems like the graph might be going out so we hope that's not the case Phoenix Arizona was a mere 115 counts per minute August 4th when I say mere because look at this here Tucson Arizona was over 310 counts per minute August 4th remaining quite active look at that no part of the country is immune. Little Rock, Arkansas hit over 200 counts per minute in the last week, trending upward in an area that's used to about 20 CPM. Fort Smith, Arkansas has been settling down, hitting just 52 CPM August 3rd. Anaheim, California was nice and cool at about 45 CPM July 28th, or so it seemed. Actually, the station has been flatlining since July 23rd. It just gave out at about July 28th. Now we've got nothing. Not good. Would you look at them apples? Fresno, California. It soared to 540 CPM. August uh, uh, 1st and it looks to be trending aggressively upwards look at this this is down where it's its background should be let's just call its background 30 if you're up here in the 540 range you know we're talking dozens of times background now here's a bright spot Bakersfield California's beta graph is working and uh, it's back online, both the beta and the gamma graphs. The beta hit about 170 August 5th, right here. A little higher before that. This is almost, geez, that's almost a 300, about 280 August 2nd or so. But it sure is good to see Bakersfield Station back online, and we thank the volunteer that's running it. Riverside. Riverside, California was way over 150 counts per minute every day in the last week with increased activity. Look at this. Very active. San Bernardino County was about 100 CPM August 5th. Holy moly, San Diego. Look at that. He had about 220 counts per minute August 1st. 
which is a dozen times background for the city. If you were being generous and you, you called it, you know, 15 to 20, it's really low, the background in San Diego. But boy, it has taken off here. Now, is it the Sea of Fuku Goo? Well, if you follow uh, Radiation Station Santa Monica, you'll know that Denise and, and I went and tested the uh, uh, water down in the Pacific at Playa del Rey here in the Los Angeles area just to, on Saturday night, and it came in normal, as did uh, kelp that we tested off the beach. And as does, uh, so it says to us that what this is, is it could be that a mass of water has reached San Diego before going through uh, Los Angeles first. It, that seems unlikely to me, but I can't guarantee that that's not the case, whatever it is. The numbers don't lie, San Diego as seeing increased beta radiation. Hartford, Connecticut, all the way across the country, is trending upward, hitting a four-month high, August 5th, of 130 counts per minute, which is over six times its normal background. See the high here? Look at the background. Over half a dozen times. And Hartford, Connecticut isn't alone on the East Coast. Look at Dover, Delaware. Look at it take off right here, August 5th. Washington, D.C. also notched a four month high August 5th with about a 160 CPM. Actually, that's more like 170. You know, just as we say every week, much to the shame of the Sunshine State, Florida, where I grew up, not a single beta monitor is working at five different EPA RADnet sites. But if you head north and you go to Augusta, Georgia, in the Peach State, you're going to find that in the last week, it hit about 160. CPM. Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's continuing its radical trend upward, hitting a four month high August 4th of 450 counts per minute, which is over a dozen times background. Baton Rouge, Louisiana's graph is back in A OK, which we're happy about. And uh, the high last week was 140 counts per minute. We'd like to point out that Orono, Maine is the EPA RADnet station, probably the farthest from Fukushima that actually functions for the beta radionuclides that we're looking for, the kind of man-made nuclides that come out of uh, triple meltdown like cesium-137 beta emitter strontium-90 beta emitter. Well, Rono, Maine usually has about the lowest in the nation. Look at this. Look how low it is. It's picked up slightly. August 5th with a reading of about 30. Nothing to be concerned about, but it is jumping just a little bit. We've also pointed out that the Baltimore, Maryland beta and gamma graphs don't work. Well, actually, now they seem to be turned on, and here the beta one is just this long, straight line. That means it's not functioning right, but at least it's showing signs of life. Same with the gamma graph. Worcester, Massachusetts. It blew through 235 CPM July 28th and hit 152 CPM, or thereabouts, on August 4th. Grand Rapids, Michigan, dropped and went higher, hitting about 345 CPM July 28th, but was just about 200 CPM August 5th. St. Paul, Minnesota, went up to about 300 counts per minute in the last week. Look at that. St. Louis, Missouri is trending active, hitting at about 175 CPM, August 4th. 
And Lincoln, Nebraska hit a four-month high August 3rd with about 360 counts per minute. Look how busy Concord, New Hampshire is getting. It here, right here, it hit uh, in the last day over 220 counts per minute, almost tied with this reading here, July 27th. That's a almost a tie for a four-month high. This is Concord, New Hampshire. This is way up there way far away from what we think is causing these pulses uh, but I think it's affecting Concord. Albuquerque, New Mexico spiked to 325 counts per minute or thereabouts July 26th. Then its graph seems to have stopped the night of August 3rd which is not good considering that this site is one of the closest in the nation to the troubled whip facility in the same state. Buffalo, New York is increasingly active, hitting about 170 counts per minute August 5th, when its normal background is around 20 to 25 CPM. You know what? I love New York City. It has the best corner stand pizza slices in the world but you know what it doesn't have it doesn't have a beta gross count rate map it's got a gamma one but it's the beta we want to know about what up manhattan syracuse new york's beta graph went out before hitting 135 cpm july 27th but it's come back on and Going back down to about 65 the night of August 3rd, before stopping is at, at the time of this report. Now, this could be just the lag time and data transmission to the graph. We hope that's the case. Charlotte, North Carolina. It's been repeatedly hitting over 100 CPM and was about 130 CPM July 27th at its height but it has eased to just about 35 counts per minute the evening of August 5th. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Now this graph is hard to explain. Raleigh hit, Raleigh, North Carolina hit 170 CPM July 27th, or uh, July 24th, and its graph cut out still hasn't come back on. Look at this. Just kind of goes whoop, and then nothing here. Now we've seen data problems in this graph before. We hope that the kind volunteers running that station will get this graph back online. You know, Toledo, Ohio has had a whole passel of trouble with their drinking water crisis. And uh, but I bet you uh, that uh, their mayor, Michael Collins, no relation, has no idea of how hot the air is with the beta peaking at about 370 counts per minute August 5th, a four-month high. Would you look at that? Four-month high. Let's head on over to the other side of the country, to the left coast in Corvallis, Oregon. Though it's not even on the coast, it sure is jumping. It hit about 145 July 26, but it just kept going up and it hit its four month high August 4th with a whopping 235 counts per minute in a place that normally has a background down around 20. That's a dozen times background. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania's beta graph hit about 205 CPM. August 5th, an active ionizing. No, there's nothing wrong with your eyeballs. This is Amarillo, Texas, and it literally blew right off the charts, went right through the thousand counts per minute beta radiation on August 3rd in very active ionization. Dallas, Texas was about 270 CPM August 4th. Fort Worth, Texas is trending upward, hitting 180 CPM August 3rd. 
Don't forget about San Angelo, Texas. It may be out in the sticks compared to Dallas or Fort Worth or Houston, but it sure knows how to rock the house with 370 counts per minute August 4th. And to finish this report, the folks in Madison, Wisconsin are not going to be pleased to hear that they hit a four-month high August 4th, nearly topping 500 counts per minute. It's a definite, definite uptick in the radiation across the country. And we follow it for you here on EnviroReporter.com. We exist on your donations, so we hope you consider making a donation to our online news organization so we can keep this kind of work up. We also encourage you to protect yourselves by controlling your air, water, and food from the threat of radiation that most mainstream media and most alternative media don't fully have a grasp of. But you do because you're here. So until next time, thank you from EnviroReporter.com.